Hey guys, Rue here. Now this is just going to be a quick little disc benchmark test on the MacBook Pro 2012. So I just picked this up today used. It's a mid-2012 MacBook Pro. It's got the 16GB of RAM upgrade and it's also running an i5. Uh, it's also, well right at the moment it's got the 500GB mechanical hard drive, the stock Apple hard drive. And what I'm going to be doing is just basically comparing it with the stock mechanical hard drive and an SSD. So I'm going to start off with the mechanical hard drive test, so I'm going to boot it up, see how long it takes, I've got a stopwatch right there, and then I'll run a disk benchmark software just to get the raw numbers, and then what I'll do is when I get the SSD in, I'll record the same tests and see what the difference is. So I'm going to press both the stopwatch and the on button at the same time. So let's do this. So as you can see that took 50 seconds from pressing the start button, uh, pressing the boot up button shall we say, uh, until the MacBook actually booted up. So now I'm going to open a few programs and then we'll do the benchmark on the software, so let's see. Hello, uh, welcome back. I'm now in 4K, I know, would you believe it? Because this is actually like a year later because I was supposed to post this video like a year ago, but I just never did. Um, and it just kind of ended up on my computer and you know, I've been inactive for a while so I thought I would use this video um, as kind of start me off again um, and I've been meaning to do this video really and I already had half of it filmed so I thought yeah let's do it um, I'm gonna be making more videos as well so if you are subscribed and you just come to this video I know it's a bit weird because it's like halfway through the video but I'm gonna be making more videos soon um, but anyway let's carry on with this video for now um, so I'll put the SSD in well this is like a year later <laughs> so the SSD I've had the SSD in there for quite a while now and I've got to say the SSD has made a massive improvement to my MacBook like it's just I, I can't recommend it enough to be honest. If you buy one of these, definitely put an SSD in it. Like it doesn't cost loads, um, and it costs like a hundred dollars maybe for a two hundred forty gigabyte SSD. Um, not even that. Even nowadays, it's, it's they're getting cheaper all the time. But I would probably recommend putting in a five hundred gigabyte SSD, um, just because the extra space is nice. Because it had five hundred gigabytes to start off with, and it's nice just to have it in there. You could replace the disk drive with an SSD, um, but that's kind of up to you. You could even raid it if you wanted to, uh, if you had two in there, but. I would just put a 500 gigabyte if um if I was going to put another one in, but I've only got a 240 gigabyte SSD. It's a Crucial BX 300, um, so I would definitely recommend Crucial if you're looking at putting in an SSD. Or actually, Samsung make great SSDs as well. They're a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely the best brand I would say. Um, but really, the big players like Sandisk, um, Sandisk, Crucial, or Samsung, they're really good. Probably wouldn't recommend Kingston, but um, I'm not here to recommend SSDs in this video. So um, but yeah, so the SSDs in there right now. And I've got my stopwatch there. Um, my iPod's turned into a phone now. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I've got my SSD in there and I'm gonna boot it up and we're gonna time it and uh, see how long it takes. Pretty quick, I think. So there we go, that took 19 seconds to boot up, which is less than half the time of the stock mechanical hard drive that it ships with. It's so, so much faster, and when you just like, you know, you whip it out and you open it up, yeah, that's what she said, but um, when you whip it out and you open it up, like, I normally keep mine on sleep mode anyway, so it just opens up pretty much instantly if I want to take notes and stuff like that, but when you're out and about, like college or something like that, and you just want to boot it up quickly, like, this is so much better because, you know, waiting around for a minute is really a pain in the ass. So, um, yeah, 19 seconds, pretty good, I'd say. And now I'll run a disk benchmark and you can see the numbers compared to the stock hard drive and see how fast it is in the read and write speeds. 
So there we go, we're getting about 500 megabytes on the read, which is as advertised really from the SSD manufacturer, uh, which is what you expect from an SSD, which is about, what, four times as much as, uh, well, about five times as much actually as a stock hard drive, as you saw earlier. So um, yeah, you can have a look, see for yourself there on the numbers. Um, and that is basically it. I don't think I'm going to test anymore. I'm not going to open any software because it's a bit unreliable sometimes and it's a bit, I don't know. I did try opening software on uh, my stock hard drive when I did the test, but it just opened up really quick. I don't know, it didn't really make sense, but um, but you can see by the raw numbers here that it's way quicker and I noticed a huge difference. It's so much smoother, so much quicker. It feels like a new laptop again, to be honest. Even if it's not a Mac, you know, it's just a Windows computer. If you put an SSD in it, it is gonna give it a new lease of life. That is the best like upgrade I can recommend if you have an old laptop. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do subscribe. Um, I know I've been inactive recently, but I'm going to try and, you know, make some more videos and uh, get back into the game because uh, I've just been a bit busy recently, but I am uh, going to be trying to do that. So, yeah, um, so do stay tuned for more videos. Um, subscribe, like I say, like the video if you liked it. It really does help me out. Um, and also leave a comment if you thought this video was helpful and you wanted to say something about it or you had any questions, leave, do leave them in the comments down below. Um, and thanks so much for 2000 300 subscribers that is insane like I'm gonna make a full video probably thanking everyone and doing a giveaway but um, I just want to say if any of you are watching from my from being subscribed already um, just thank you so much like I really do appreciate every single one of you and uh, you know it is just incredible so I don't really know I'm speechless to be honest like and it's always going up and yeah I'm I'm just so thankful so I'm definitely gonna keep making videos for you guys I wouldn't do it without you um, and I really appreciate every single one of you. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.